hey everybody, welcome to my complete Blu-ray collection. Right behind me are all of my Blu-rays, except for save, save a few. I'm gonna go through each one of these as quickly as possible. I'm just gonna just mention the name, maybe mention something about it. Um, just go through each section and tell you what, what my section and um, collection is divided in. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, thank you so much for checking this out. All right. All right, so let's start off with the top shelf. We have a couple of figures, and right behind that is the Bond 50th anniversary. Uh, it's got all the way up to Skyfall, and so we get the first 23 Bonds in there. Moving on from there is probably one of my favorite trilogies of all time by Richard Linklater. The Before Trilogy, it's a gorgeous set, Criterion. Uh, it's one of probably things that I'm proud of most. It's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, definitely check this out if you like romantic uh, movies this is probably one of the best of all time moving on from there's predator there's x-files collector set which i still need to watch all of it and there's my lord of the rings and hobbit stuff there's my the dvd extended the books the hobbit extended and the lord of the rings extended all beautiful um probably my favorite trilogy of all time probably my second favorite trilogy of all time moving on from there there's uh eddard stark Game of Thrones, he's kind of right in between Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones because, you know, Boromir and Mr. Stark. And then we got Deadwood, the complete series, which is a fantastic show that died too soon. Behind this Predator is the complete collection of Friends. Then we have Martian Manhunter standing right next to Stranger Things, the uh, uh, Target exclusive VHS kind of Blu-ray collection. It was really, really cool to get. It looks exactly like it's from like a garage sale. Then I have Breaking Bad, the complete series. Got a really good deal on that. Then I have The Wire complete series. The Soprano complete series. My Doctor Strange right there, kind of just looking odd. And then I got Kevin, Kevin Costner in the corner. JFK, which I actually I have yet to see. It's the commemor commemorative collection, the limited edition. 6,821 of 50,000. All right, so these are things that I have yet to see. Okay, and now some of these, I know people are gonna be like, what, how have you not seen this yet? So let's just let's move through it. Adaptation, with Nicolas Cage, I want to see that really bad. American Gangster, Denzel. Armors Peros, this I think is the first film by Inuritu. We have Army of Darkness, I've seen the first two. Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Atonement, which I've heard is really sad. Babel. We have the big picture with uh, Kevin Bacon. Big Trouble in Little China, yep, I haven't seen it. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway and Bonnie and Clyde. Get the digipack there. The bridge on the River Kwai. Rigsby Bear. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That one needs to... <laughs> I need to catch up on that one real quick. Cape Fear. I'm talking about the original. Gregory Peck. Catch Me If You Can. Still have yet to see that. Chinatown. I know that one's a big one. I uh, haven't seen. The Class. This is a foreign film. Closer. Cool Hand Luke, another movie that people are probably sad that I have not seen yet. Crazy Heart. I have seen Crouching Hot Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I don't know why it's over in this corner, but I've seen this. I haven't, I'm haven't. i watching it again, though. Curious Case of Benjamin Button in a Criterion case that I hate. I wish it was in a normal Criterion case. Curse of the Golden Flower. A Dangerous Method. A lot of these are uh, Sony Pictures classic movies, which I, I really love. Detroit. Deliverance, we're like a big boy. Dirty Dancing, yeah, I haven't seen that one. Dirty Dozen, we have Doubt. Eastern Promises, I really loved History of Violence, so I really probably would love that one. Edge of Seventeen, In Education. End of Watch, which I have seen, I don't know why it's over here as well. I just want to rewatch it, I suppose. The English Patient. Fatal Attraction, The Firm, Tom Cruise, we got some McDonald's Love with The Founder, The Fringe Connection, Gandhi, Gattaca, Gregor Peck again, A Gentleman's Agreement, just got that recently actually, Gone with the Wind, that one's going to be a hectic movie, it's going to take so long to watch, Hang Em High, Clint Eastwood movie, Hotel Rwanda, Prepared to cry for that one. Infernal Affairs, which I heard is the inspiration for The Departed. In the Name of the Father. 
another Daniel Day Lewis. I saw the Devil, a Korean film that I really am looking forward to. I heard is really messed up. Joe, one of the few Nicolas Cage movies I've heard that is really good. Kubo and the Two Strings, which I actually have seen, but I want to rewatch it soon. The Last King of Scotland with Forrest Whitaker, a late quartet. Lawrence of Arabia, another one that I really definitely need to see quickly. Letters from Iwo Jima, Clint Eastwood movie. The Lives of Others, which I heard is one of the better foreign films. Logan's Run. The Long Kiss Goodnight. The Lost Boys. Yes, I've seen that movie. Lost Horizon, Finn Capra's. Magnificent Seven. No, I have not seen that one. Margaret. It took forever to come out. Matchstick Men. Metropolis. Michael Clayton. A Monster Calls. Mr. Nobody. Nebraska. The Negotiator. Once Upon a Time in the West. Yes, I need to see that one too. The Orphanage. Papillon. Steve McQueen. Predestination. Pretty Woman. Primal Fear. Road to Perdition. Run, Lola, Run. Salem's Lot, which I've seen parts of. The Searchers. The Secret in Their Eyes. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. A Serious Man. Which, yeah, that one I need to see again, too. Seven Beauties. Foreign film. Sideways. The Sound of Music. I'm not a big fan of musicals, but um, that one's a classic, so I need to watch it. Spy Game. Still Alice. Really love those Sony Picture Classics. The Sting, which I still need to see. Sunset Boulevard. Classic movie. The Talented Mr. Ripley. The Terminal. Traffic. To Catch a Thief. Hitchcock. U571. Up in the Air. The Wackness with Josh Peck. Wild. Wild Tales, another foreign language film. Wings, which has some really beautiful shots in it, but I haven't seen it. The Van Rose, which I really don't want to watch. Leviathan, a good foreign uh, Russian film, I want to say. Life is Beautiful, still need to watch that. Ran, Kira Kurosawa. The Wailing, Korean film. Now we're to some of my animes, and I'm going to mess that up. The Boy and the Beast. Ooh, now we're going to go over here, in this corner of the world. And then we got some Studio Ghibli. Films, The Cat Returns. These are the new slip covers. From up, from up on Poppy Hill. Secret Wool of Artie. And I have to go over here. Whisper of the Heart. The Wind Rises. That's an old one. And then we got a Marx Brothers collection. It's got a uh, silver screen collection. It's got a couple of things in here. Five of the classics. The Coconuts. Animal Crackers. Monkey Business. Horse Feathers. And Duck Soup. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've got Cosmos. We're in the TV series now a little bit. Uh, the new one. Daredevil Season 2. Uh, I've, only, I've only seen Season 1 on uh, Netflix. I don't own it, though. The Flash Season 3. Arrow Season 5. Yeah, these have gotten progressively worse. I know. Whatever. Albert Hitchcock Collection Masterpiece. I've seen half of them by now. Now, now we're moving on from that little section that I actually... That's all I have that's left on this entire bookshelf is the stuff I have seen that I want to rewatch again. A lot of this came out this year. So, Game of Thrones Season 7, gorgeous cover. Gorgeous cover. Uh, Alien Covenant Steelbook. I've got Amadeus, Director's Cut. I haven't seen that since high school. Paul 13, another movie I haven't seen since high school. Baby Driver, there's a steelbook there. Blade Runner 2049, the 4K steelbook. God, it's gorgeous. I got Dunkirk, uh, the steelbook, right there. Too expensive for my taste, but whatever. The Evil Dead. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Get Out Steelbook, which is also gorgeous. My favorite movie of 2017, A Ghost Story, which I'm waiting for a good time to watch this again. Good time. Speaking of a good time to watch this, haha. <laughs> Bad joke. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Steelbook. A little baby Groot saying do not push. Hacksaw Ridge. Hitman's Bodyguard Steelbook. Hot Tub Time Machine. Haven't seen that in a while. The Incredibles. Gonna rewatch that since uh, Incredibles 2 is coming out. Inherent Vice, which I've seen a long time ago. Got some good stuff in there. Got Joanna Newsom and Joaquin Phoenix. In the Heart of the Sea. 
I actually like that movie quite a lot, actually. It, there's the steelbook for that one. It Comes at Night, controversial film, but I really like. Lego Batman movie. We got Limitless, which I haven't seen in quite some time. Live, Die, Repeat, or Edge of Tomorrow, which I also have seen a long time ago. Logan, which I cannot wait to watch the noir version, uh, which I did. I've seen parts of it, but I haven't seen the whole thing. I, I watched just the normal version, but I really love that movie. Logan Lucky, another Logan movie. Moonrise Kingdom, one of my least favorite Anderson films, not going to lie. Uh, Mother, which I loved. The Pursuit of Happiness, which I haven't seen in quite some time. Spider-Man Homecoming. Split. Beautiful cover. Steelbook, right. Titanic. 3D. War for the Planet of the Apes. Really fantastic film. I hope they actually win um, uh, the Oscar that they are nominated for, because that's what I think they should win for. Wonder Woman. Steelbook. 4K. Now we're on to these two sections right down here. Alien starts right there. All the way up to Harry Potter. I'll just move down here first. Alien. This is the. These are my box sets um, and miscellaneous kind of stuff. I got the Alien. This is the first Alien 35th Anniversary Edition. Got the Back to the Future trilogy. Blade Runner. All the freaking types of them all. The first four Die Hards. Doctor Strange Love. Got, I actually have two versions of that. Empire of the Sun. First Christian Bale. Ghostbusters one and two. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, talking about the American version. Gone Girl, and the Hannibal Lecter trilogy, which has Silence of the Lambs, Red Dragon, and Hannibal, not Hannibal Rising. So from Hannibal, we go to Harry Potter. We got the first eight Harry Potters, all of them. Uh, we got the Indiana Jones collection, complete collection. This is all four of them. Yes, I know there's four, unfortunately. Labyrinth, right here. We got One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, one of the best movies of all time. Mel Brooks collection, which has a billion movies in it, and I love it. It's got 12 chairs, Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Silent Movie, High Anxiety, History of the World Part 1, To Be or Not To Be, Spaceballs, and Robin Hood Men in Tights. Fantastic collection there. We've got the Legacy Collection of Planet of the Apes, which has the first five films. we got the Pirates of the Caribbean Collection. My friend is borrowing the fourth one, on, I want to say, on, on Dead Man's Tides or whatever, something like Stranger Tides. I don't know, remember what it's called. Anyway, it's not the good, it's not the best one. Rocky Undisputed Collection, that's the first six Rockies. Rush Hour Trilogy, Schindler's List, the first three Star Wars, um, plus the prequel trilogy, Star Wars Episode Seven, Taxi Driver, The Terminator, and The Usual Suspects. Also, all fantastic movies. To the Steelbooks, which I will pull out because I love these things. All right, so we got The Bride of Frankenstein, which has a gorgeous cover. Creature from the Black Lagoon. There's a little glare there. I know some people... There's Dracula. There's Frankenstein. The Invisible Man. The Mummy, one of my favorite ones, actually. At least the cover-wise. It's a good movie, too. The Wolfman. All right, so those are all universal horror classics, except for the Phantom of the Opera, which they didn't make for some reason. But uh, all by Alex Ross. The artwork is gorgeous. So let's move on from there to Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. We got the steelbooks for those. I didn't get Dark Knight Returns. I don't have that one yet. The Beauty and the Beast, the remake. The one came out last year. Live action one, Big Lebowski. Casino Royale. I have two I have two versions of these Bond movies. Hunter Majesty Secret Service, just because I love steelbooks. A Christmas Story. A Christmas Vacation. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, that's the 4K edition. Dracula Untold, not the best movie, but a pretty fine, solid movie. Fargo Steelbook. The Fifth Element Steelbook. Gladiator. Godfather Part 1. Godfather Part 2. Goodfellas. Hangover Part 2. The Inception Steelbook. Jumanji 4K Steelbook, which is gorgeous. We got Jurassic Park. We got Kill Bill Volume 1. Kill Bill Volume 2. King Kong. My Logan Steelbook, which I haven't opened yet. It doesn't have the noir version. The Revenant. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Space Jam. Star Trek Into Darkness. Top Gun. V for Vendetta. The Wolf of Wall Street. Watchmen. One of my favorite superhero movies of all time. Whiplash. And Zoolander, the Blue Steel Book Edition. Great. 
All right, now from the Steelbooks, I'm gonna stand up. Studio Ghibli Films and also Miyazaki Films. So let's start off with the Castle in the Sky. These are all alphabetical. Hal's Moving Castle, Kiki's Delivery Service, My Neighbor Totoro, Nasca, The Valley of the Wind, Princess Mononoke, probably my favorite one, Ponyo, Porco Russo, which I've really recently just watched and loved it, Spirited Away, obviously one of the best, Grave of the Fireflies, the saddest, The Red Turtle, fantastic movie. Uh, then we have, moving on from the Miyazaki and the Ghibli films, we have Cowboy Bebop, the complete series. We have Akira. We have the two newest Dragon Ball Z movies, Battle of the Gods and Resurrection F. Then we have Final Fantasy Advent Children Complete. That's Final Fantasy VII. Then we have the original Ghost in the Shell movie. We have The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, which is a fantastic movie. We have Your Name, which is also a really sad movie. All right, so moving on from our anime, we have my animated kind of Disney, Pixar, etc. kind of category. A lot of these have slipcovers. A lot of them don't. I know some people are really into slipcovers. However, I'm not particularly... Um, I don't really care as much. So we'll start off with Aladdin here. We have Aladdin. We have Bambi. We have the original Beauty and the Beast. We have Big Hero 6. We have Brave. We have A Bug's Life. We have the first two Fantasia, Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. We have Finding Dory, Finding Nemo. Hercules, How to Train Your Dragon, and How to Train Your Dragon 2, Inside Out, The Iron Giant, The Jungle Book, Diamond Edition, The Jungle Book, the remake, the live action, The Lego Movie, Lilo and Stitch, and Lilo and Stitch 2, The Lion King, Moana, Monsters, Inc., Monsters University, Mulan, Mulan 2, the remake of Pete's Dragon, which is fantastic, Pinocchio, Pino Pocahontas, and Pocahontas 2, Robin Hood, Snow White, Tarzan, one of my favorites of all time. Actually, probably is my favorite Disney movie. Toy Story, Toy Story 3. And yes, I don't have Toy Story 2. I'm, Disney Disney movies are expensive, okay, people? Up, Wally, Wreck-It Ralph, and finally, Zootopia. So moving on from our Disney Pixar, we have my comic book movies. All right, so let's start off with 30 Days of Night. We have 30 Days of Night, which actually I like that movie. We have 300. We have 300 Rise of the Empire. We have Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2. We have The Losers. And then we have the Batman kind of uh, quadrilogy, even though they're not... There's two different filmmakers. We got Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher. And one is highly better than the other one. But anyway, we're not going to talk about those movies. Then we have Dark Knight Rises, because Dark Knight and Dark Batman Begins were all over there in the Steelbooks. Then we have Man of Steel. That's pretty much my DC side of my collection. Um... Besides Wonder Woman all the way in the Steelbook corner. But anyway, now we have the Marvel Cinematic Universe starting with Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, The First Avenger, The First Avengers Movie, Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America The Winter Soldier, The Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America Civil War, and Doctor Strange. And then there's a few more up there, like Spider-Man Homecoming, which I have. And then here's my Spider-Man movies. I have Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Amazing Spider-Man, and then my probably my worst Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Then I have The Punisher. I have Deadpool. And then I have my X-Men collection, which is the first three X-Men. X-Men Origins Wolverine, not a great movie at all. X-Men First Class, The Wolverine and X-Men Days of Future Past, and then finally X-Men Apocalypse, which wasn't that great. And now from there, we're moving on to my foreign films, which are some of my favorite films, actually. We have 13 Assassins, we have Amelie, we have Battle Royale, we have Beautiful, we have The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, we have Cinema Paradiso, Italian movie, it's beautiful. City of God, Brazilian movie, that's fantastic. Downfall, which is a fantastic German Polish kind of film about Hitler's last days. Embrace of the Serpent, a fantastic Colombian movie that um, is in the Amazon. The original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. A girl walks uh, home alone at night. Iranian vampire movie, very good. The Her uh, Hero, which is probably my favorite movie, directed by uh, Zhang, you know, yeah, I can never say his name. Uh, the guy who just did The Great Wall. Zhang Yimao, I want to say. House of the Flying Daggers, House of Flying Daggers, classic. The Hunt, really good Danish movie. Incendies, Untouchables, good French movie. Let the Right One In, 
great Swedish vampire movie. Nosferatu, some German expression and uh, expressionist. Old Boy, good Korean film. The Raid and Raid 2, two of the greatest martial arts films. Uh, the Rurouni Kenshin trilogy, which is actually a really good live adaptation of the anime. A Separation and Son of Saul, uh, both won their awards, I want to say. They're really good. So moving on from there, uh, those are, are all of my foreign films that aren't on Criterion or I haven't seen, you know, vice versa. We're moving on to my Quentin Tarantino uh, kind of little area. Some of them are scattered, like I said. I have Kill Bill, you know, over in the Steelbooks. So we have Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained, the Hateful Eight, and then one that he didn't, you know, directly direct, but True Romance. And we already went over my box sets, so we're going to move on to my Criterion collection. Just a second. All right, let's move on to the Criterion. Some of my favorite movies. I'll point out the ones I haven't seen and the ones I have. All right, so Seven Samurai. Starting off, these are all in order of the numbers that I have corresponding down there. With starting with two, Seven Samurai, fantastic Kurosawa film, uh, The Seventh Seal. Uh, fantastic movie, Ingmar uh, Bergman, Diabolique, which is the movie that I just recently saw, uh, the one that I really enjoyed um, that wasn't made by Hitchcock. I got Yojimbo and Sanjuro, some more Kurosawa films. I have Rushmore. I have another. I have The Hidden Fortress, which I haven't seen, which is a Kurosawa film. I have Rebecca, which I love, and I've seen it twice now. Good, uh, good. Hitchcock film. Then I have Rashomon, which is probably one of the best Akira Kurosawa films. In the Mood for Love, fantastic uh, and also heartbreaking story um, between a, a husband and a wife and some others. But anyway, The Royal Tenenbaums, I have some some nice Wes Anderson in here. Uh, Hiroshima Mon Amour, which I have not seen. Ikaru, which I have not seen, also a Kurosawa film. Live Aquatic with Steve Zizou, good movie. Late Spring, have not seen that one. The Last Emperor, Vampire, Repulsion, which I have not seen. Stagecoach, which I have not seen by John Ford. Everlasting Moments, I have not seen. Dar Darjing Limited, Wes Anderson. We got um, Kronos, which is Del Toro's first movie, which is great. We got The Great Dictator. It's my only Charlie Chaplin. I'm going to make m way more Charlie Chaplin movies add to this collection. The Blue, White, Red, Three Colors Trilogy by Krzysztof Kieslowski. Uh, great stuff. Um, have not seen this yet, but I just watched Decalogue, which is over there. And, man, I am already in love with his style. Twelve Angry Men, which is one of the best movies of all time, hands down. So good. Being John Malkovich, great, great movie. Love it. Hilarious, also kind of scary. Rosemary's Baby, speaking of scary, that movie's very scary. Nolan's first film, The Following, or just following. Uh, yeah, just following. <laughs> I'm not talking about that show. The Devil's Backbone, which is a great um, Del Toro film. It's a mad, 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 mad world, which is pretty much what made Rat Race a thing, but this is a much better film and the original. Blue is the Warmest Color, have not seen that one yet, but I've heard it's kind of... Uh, yeah, it's something, that's for sure. The Great Beauty, which I have not seen, but I can't wait to see it. In a Lonely Place, also cannot wait to see that movie. Uh, Blood Simple, Coen Brothers' first movie, fantastic, good good work on that one. Decalogue, which I just recently saw, that one, and Diabolique are the two things I've recently saw, and both of them have made lasting impressions on me. Pan's Labyrinth, probably my favorite Del Toro film. Uh, Kuro Kurosawa's Dreams. And finally, Punch Drunk Love, P.T. Anderson. Some good, some good stuff there. Uh, so moving on from my Criterions, I have my Kubrick kind of little area of collection. I have 2001 A Space Odyssey. I have Barry Lyndon, which I'm going to update to Criterion because I love that movie. Clockwork Orange. My second Doctor Strange Love, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. My other one is a little kind of digibook pack. I'm going to probably get that on Criterion as well. Eyes Wide Shut, which I actually like a lot, and a lot of people don't, I know. Full Metal Jacket, and probably my favorite, uh, The Shining. And then I also have Spartacus, which is one of his kind of uh, first films. I know there was like three or four before that, but um, I'm going to get more of his stuff. So moving on from there, we have a nice segue into the Coen Brothers kind of collection I have here. 
We have Burn After Reading. We have Hail Caesar. We have Inside Lewin Davis, which I'm going to get on Criterion. No Country for Old Men. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Raising Arizona. And that's, yeah. So those that's my Killing Brothers collection. And so from here on out, we have two guns all the way to Z. That's the rest of my collection. These are no in no particular order. So let's start off with two guns. And then I have Three Days of the Condor and All the President's Men, which that's the reason I have it is All the President's Men. That's the reason I got it. 10 Cloverfield Lane, 10 Things I Hate About You, 12 Years a Slave, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, 28 Days Later, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, 99 Homes, 310 to Yuma, 500 Days of Summer, About Time, Ace Ventura and Ace Ventura 2, Pet De the Pet Detective kind of collection, Air Force One, Airplane, Aliens, I have Alien over there in the corner, All is Lost, American Beauty, American Graffiti, American History X, American Hustle, American Psycho, American Werewolf in London, so many Americas, jeez, Anchorman and Anchorman 2, Anger Management, Anomalisa, Apocalypse Now, uh, Full Disclosure Edition, it's got the awesome Hearts of Darkness documentary with it, Apocalypto, which is a really hard to find Blu-ray, Argo, Armageddon, Arrival, The Artist, The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford, love that movie, and the cinematography is just gorgeous, thanks Robert Deakins, Roger, bleh. Awesome Powers Trilogy, The Autopsy of Jane Doe, Avatar, and Awakenings. Now we're moving on to B. We have The Babadook, A Beautiful Mind, Beetlejuice, Beginners, The Beguiled, Ben-Hur, the original, not that new one, Big, Big Daddy, Big Fish, The Big Short, The Big Sick, Billy Madison, Birdman, Black Mass, Black Sheep, Black Swan, the original Blair Witch Project, Blood Diamond, Blue Jasmine, Blue Ruin, Blue Valentine, Boogie Nights, Bone Tomahawk, The Born Trilogy, I only like the first three, Identity, Supremacy, and Ultimatum, Got Boyhood, I want to get that on Criterion actually, A Boy with the Striped Pajamas, Brad Status, Brave Heart, Brazil, Breakfast Club, Brokeback Mountain, Brooklyn, Bruce Almighty, Bullet, Cabin in the Woods, Calvary, Campaign, The Campaign, Captain Fantastic, Carnage, Carrie, the original, Casablanca, Castaway, Chasing Amy, Children of Men, Chocolat, Citizen Kane, Clerks and Clerks 2, Click, Cloud Atlas, Clue, the movie, probably the best board game movie of all time, Collateral, Contact, The Conversation, Crash, Crazy Stupid Love, Creed, Cujo, Dallas Buyers Club, Dances with Wolves, Dawn of the Dead, the remake, Dazed and Confused, Dead Poet Society, The Deer Hunter, The Departed, The Descent, The Dictator, District 9, Disturbia, Dodgeball, Hard to Find Blu-ray, Dogma, Donnie Darko, Dracula, Francis Ford Coppola's Dread, Drive, The Drop, Edward Scissorhands, Elf, Empire Records, Enemy, Equilibrium, E.T., Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Europa Report, Everybody Wants Some, Ex Machina, The Exorcist, the original, Expendables 1, 2, and 3, Guilty Pleasure Movies, Evil Dead 2, and finally The Fall. <clears throat> I got Fantastic Mr. Fox, Fast Times at Richmond High, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, A Few Good Men, Fight Club, The Fighter, The Good and Bad, The Ugly trilogy, kind of The Man with No Name, Fistful of Dollars for a Few Dollars More, and The Good, Bad, and The Ugly. Great trilogy, even though they're not really that connected. The Flyboy, uh, Flyboys, Flyboys, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Forrest Gump, The Fountain, Four Lions, hilarious movie, Frailty, Free Fire, Fruitvale Station, The Fugitive, Fury, The Game, Gangs of New York, Get Hard, Get Smart, two movies I'm not too proud of, but whatever, The Ghost Rider, The Gift, Gifted, Glenn Gary, Glenn LaRoss, Godfather Part 3, Godzilla, Gone Baby Gone, Good Morning, Good Morning Vietnam, that was bad, but anyway, Good Night and Good Luck, Good Will Hunting, The Goonies, 
The Graduate, which I'm going to probably get on Criterion. Grand Torino, Gravity. Green Mile, Green Room, Gremlins, The Grey, Grand Budapest Hotel, Gross Point Blank, Groundhog Day, The Guard, The Original Halloween, The Hangover, Happy Gilmore, The Haunting, The Original, Heat, Heller High Water, The Help, Her, High Fidelity, High Fidelity, it's pretty much my life in the record store, History of Violence, Home Alone 1 and 2, Horrible Bosses 1 and 2, Hot Rod, Hugo, The Hunger Games uh, 4 pack or whatever quadrilogy, Hunger Games, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay Part 1 and 2, Hunt for the Wilder People, The Hurt Locker, I Am Legend, Identity, The Ides of March, I Love You Man, Intimidation Game, In Bruges, Inherent the Wind, Independence Day, Insomnia, Interstellar, The Interview, Interview with a Vampire, Into the Wild, The Invitation, It Follows, It's a Wonderful Life, Jaws, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, The Jerk, Jodorowsky's Dune, John Wick, and John Wick 2, Jumanji, I got The Lost World, Jurassic Park 2, and 3, and Jurassic World, they all get progressively worse, Killing Them Softly, King Arthur, Kingdom of Heaven, Kingsman The Secret Service, I have my second Kingsman being borrowed right now, so I have the, I have the Golden Circle too, uh, The King's Speech, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, A Knight's Tale, Knocked Up, LA Confidential, La La Land, Last of the Mohicans, The Last Samurai, Layer Cake, The Lethal Weapon, uh, Four Pack, Leon the Professional, Liar Liar, Life, Life of Pi, Lion, Little Miss Sunshine, The Lobster, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, Blooper, The Lost City of Z, Lost in Translation, Love Actually, Lucky Never Slevin, Lime Life, Macbeth, the uh, newest uh, iteration, the uh, Machinist, uh, Machinist or whatever, Mad Max Fury Road, Magnolia, Major Pain, Mall Rats, Drone Bigsby's The Man from Earth, which is a fantastic little indie movie, Manchester by the Sea, The Man from Uncle, The Martian, The Master, Master and Commander, Far Side of the World, Matrix Trilogy, Mean Girls, Memento, Memoirs of a Geisha, Milk, Million Dollar Baby, Minority Report, Misery, The Mission, Gregory Peck's Moby Dick, Moneyball, The Monster Squad, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Monty Python's Life of Brian, and Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. We got Moon, Moonlight, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, and then the Legacy garbage stuff. Mr. Brooks, we got Mud, we got My Left Foot, Mystic River, The Naked Gun, just the first one, National Treasure, just the first, Neighbors, the Nice Guys, Nightcrawler, Nocturnal Animals, Office Space, Once Upon a Time in America, One Hour Photo, Only Lovers Left Alive, The Other Guys, Out of Africa, Pacific Rim, The Patriot, Perfume, my German version, because it's hard to find on normal Blu-ray, Perks of Being a Wallflower, Phantom of the Opera, The Pianist, also a really hard to find movie on Blu-ray, Pineapple Express, Place Beyond the Pines, Plane Trains and Automobiles, the first two Planet of the Apes movies, Rise and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Platoon, the original Poltergeist, Predator 1 and 2, The Prestige, Princess Bride, lovely, lovely movie. Pri Prisoners, The Producers, that, um, this is not the uh, the musical, this is the Mel Brooks movie. The Prometheus, uh, Prometheus Raging Bull, Rain Man, Rambo, Red, Requiem for a Dream, Risky Business, The Road, Robin Hood, the newest Russell Crowe movie, Rock and Roll, uh, um, great movie, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Star Wars Rogue One, and Role Models. Kind of stops right here and it starts there. This is my TV series and I'll get to that in a second. But Room, we have The Room, we have The, the Salva Salvation, Samsara, Sandlot, Saving Private Ryan, Say Anything, Scarface, School of Rock, Secondhand Lions, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Serenity, Seven, Seven Psychopaths, Shawshank Redemption, Short Term 12, Shrek 1 and 2, the only Shreks I like, Sicario, Signs, Silence, Silver Linings Playbook, Sin City, Sing Street, Sinister, 
16 Candles, The Sixth Sense, Sleepers, Sleepless in Seattle, Sling Blade, Slumdog Millionaire, Smoke and Aces, Snatch, Snowpiercer, um, my 24th Bond film, Spectre, Spotlight, Stand By Me, Starship Troopers, Star Trek and Star Trek Beyond, first and third of the newest Star Treks, Step Brothers, Stranger Than Fiction, Sunshine, Super 8, Super Bad, Super Troopers, Synecdoche, New York, Taken, Take Shelter, Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, Team America World Police, fuck yeah, Ted and Ted 2, we got Terminator 2, Judgment Day, we have Terminator 1 up there, Theory of Everything, There Will Be Blood, They Live, That's My Boy, The Thing, and The Thing, kind of prequel, kind of 2011 make, whatever, This Is Spinal Tap, This Is The End, To Kill a Mockingbird, Tombstone, Tommy Boy, Total Recall, The Town, Training Places, Training Day, Tree of Life, Troll 2, Tropic Thunder, Troy, The Truman Show, Trumbo, Twister, Unbreakable, Unbroken, Uncle Buck, Under the Skin, The First Three Underworld, Underworld Movies, Unforgiven, Untouchables, the, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation, Van Helsing, Walk the Line, Warrior, The Watch, Waterboy, Wayne's World 1 and 2, The Way Way Back, Weird Science, We're the Millers, What We Do in the Shadows, When Harry Met Sally, Wind River, The Witch, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, The World's End, Coronado Trilogy, Hot Fuzz, and Shaun of the Dead, World's Greatest Dad, The Wrestler, Your Sister's Sister, and then finally we have Zodiac and Zombieland. So that's my complete alphabet, and now we're going to move on to my final uh, spot of my shelf. And that is my TV series. I have The Legend of Korra, a complete series. God damn it, put out Avatar on Blu-ray. Anyway, Band of Brothers, we have all the Dexters here, seasons 1 through 8. We have Fargo season 1 and 2. Another discrepancy is I'm mad about Fargo not coming out on uh, Blu-ray for, uh, for year 3. It's kind of bullshit, but whatever. Firefly, I have The Flash second season, the first season's over there on the DVD collection or whatever. Freaks and Geeks Complete Series. I have all of the Game of Thrones up to Season 7. Hannibal, the first season. The other uh, ones are DVD elsewhere. House of Cards 1 through 3, 4, and 5 are over there in the corner in the DVD selection. It's Always Sunny. It's a very Christmas special. Uh, Mad Men Complete Series. Mankind History of Us All. The Pacific. I got Planet Earth and Planet Earth 2. Someone's borrowing it, so I have the slipcover up there. Uh, I have all the Sherlock's there, uh, seasons uh, one through four, and even a bonus disc, The Bri Abominable Bride is the only one that is in a DVD. Spartacus, season two, because the rest of them are on DVD, when I'm going to try to update to those. True Detective, season one, the only season I really care about. The first season of Walking Dead on Blu-ray, the rest of them are all on DVD. And then Westworld, finally, is season one. And so there you go. There you have it. I probably made this longer than... It should have been, but that is my collection. Um, I have a few things that are not here. Those are all my books down there. Um, but that's pretty much my Blu-ray collection. All right, so thank you all for checking this out. Um, this is my complete Blu-ray collection. I have more coming in as we speak, but this is what I have at the moment. So this is me signing off.